It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 3rd of November. I'm Michael Groff. Our big change in the weather has arrived. A trough, an associated cold front moving through the state today that will bring clouds, wind, and yes, some chances of rain. Maybe even an isolated thunderstorm here to south central Arizona. We'll see widespread rain and snow up north today. The big story, of course, the much cooler temperatures. In fact, our high temperature for the day has likely already occurred at midnight when we were 68 degrees. We probably will only have temperatures staying in the upper 50s and low 60s for the rest of the day today. All right, so a lot going on. Let's talk about it. First, we'll look at the almanac from yesterday. 80 degrees, the afternoon high. 59 was the morning low, the normal high. 83 and the normal low, 59. And as we take a peek outside right now here at 8.35 a.m., some clouds out there right now. No rain as of yet. We're sitting at 57 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 34, humidity 41%, but it's breezy. Wind from the west-southwest at 13, and the barometer 29.93 inches and rising. The upper air look across the nation shows that big trough coming out here into the southwest. The old U-shaped component, very strong feature with plenty of cold air aloft. And even though the brunt of the dynamics will stay just to the north of us, we do expect at least enough moisture and dynamic support here for some scattered showers and isolated storms this afternoon. Here's the watch warning map, a number of winter weather advisories and wind advisories throughout the western states associated with this feature. And we've got a winter weather advisory up north for the Flagstaff area today. Several inches of snow are likely. Convective outlook, we do have that standard slight risk of severe storms from around Amarillo up to Dodge City, Kansas. We could see a little bit of thunder here in Arizona today with that system coming on through. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Thursday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, a tenth of an inch or less in most spots, although an isolated location could see just a little bit more than that. Obviously, we'll see a bit more precipitation up north with the better dynamic support coming through. And we'll talk about the details of this forecast more so now as we take a look at the models. Here we go. This is the GFS. It is the 06Z run valid 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that cold upper trough coming through here today with that cold air aloft and some daytime heating here down at the surface. Yeah, we'll see some showers prefrontal band coming in here and maybe an isolated thunderstorm with the front coming in this afternoon. High temperatures in Phoenix today. Well, we've already had it. Like I said earlier, about 68 was the high at midnight. Temperatures this afternoon should stay in the upper 50s to low 60s. Keeping in mind that if we do manage to see a few storms, they could even drop some small hail this afternoon, especially over the northern part of the metro area, northern Maricopa County. Then as that system begins to move on out tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing colder. The coldest weather we've had so far this season with lows, yes, upper 30s in the coldest valley locations, low to mid 40s in the urban core. And then tomorrow, despite the fact that we'll have plenty of sun around, it will be an unusually cool day with highs only in the low to mid 60s. Keep in mind the normal high temperature for tomorrow, 82 degrees. So we'll be well below that, maybe as much as 20 degrees below that. Then on Saturday, we'll start a warming trend. Highs getting back closer to 70 and with mostly sunny sky. And then Sunday, mid 70s likely. Upper 70s to near 80 on Monday, but don't look now. Here comes another trough digging in just off the West Coast. And the ultimate evolution of this system is still somewhat in doubt. Uh, but we do expect to see at least some moisture coming in here, maybe by Tuesday for some widely scattered showers, better chances of rain up north. How this plays out is still somewhat in doubt, given the fact that uh, we have a number of different model solutions on this. But right now, it looks like the bulk of the moisture and dynamics will once again be just to the north of us. Still can't rule out some isolated showers, though, for Tuesday. High temperatures are likely to come back down toward uh, around 70, then maybe just mid-60s to near 70 on Wednesday as that system departs and leaves us with another round of cooler temperatures. Here's a week from today. This is Thursday the 10th, and that trough is now moving off into the Plain States. And we are under dry west-northwesterly flow aloft. And then going out 10 days, this is Saturday the 12th. And another trough moving through the west. And again, cutting just to the north of Arizona, the tail end of that trough may come through the Four Corners region and bring us perhaps some more cool temperatures. All right, looking at rainfall for Phoenix. This is going out through the 17th of November, coming off of the European Ensemble. The mean still under a quarter of an inch. We don't expect significant precipitation, although most of the models do indicate that we'll at least see something today, uh, this afternoon sometime. And then after that, 
Opportunities for precipitation do not look to be very plentiful, at least through mid-November. And then temperatures off the national blend of models. Yeah, you bet. We are way below average today, tomorrow, even into the weekend. And for the most part, high temperatures are going to stay below average through the forecast period. Although we don't mind that one bit, do we? Overall highs in the 70s, mostly uh, lows in the 40s and 50s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, suggestions. The executive producer of the Phoenix Arizona weather discussion is the one and only my one and only Michelle. And you guys, thank you so much for watching all of your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. Sorry, we're not here live today. Uh, I'm expecting some people to come by and work on something here at the house and they give you that large time window. So I'd hate to be in the middle of a live and then have to abruptly cut it off. That would be kind of weird. So that's why we are not live today. Sorry about that. We'll be back live tomorrow, though. Anyway, have yourselves a glorious rest of your Thursday.